It's very interesting to think about and talk about the relationship between intelligence and creativity. One of the reasons it's interesting and somewhat confusing is that people use the word genius to refer to people who have a high IQ, and they use the word genius to refer to people who are highly creative. And so it's as if that word refers to the same thing. And for many years, people thought that it did refer to the same thing. It's now, I think, pretty widely accepted by people who work in the fields of intelligence and creativity that they're not the same thing. The evidence for that is a study that was done by a man named Lewis Terman. Uh, he started it in 1921. He identified a group of very high IQ children in the California school system and then followed them at regular intervals throughout their life. What emerged from that extensive study that's published in six volumes is that these kids who had, had IQs of 135 or greater were, most of them, fairly successful people in that they got good jobs and uh, were financially comfortable and so on. They also were generally healthier. They were also generally happier. But they were not highly creative by most standards. They, you know, they had ordinary jobs. A couple of them got recognition in the film industry. He missed two Nobel Prize winners in physics in that sample, William Shockley and Luis Alvarez. So as people now look at the results of that study, I think there's a very general consensus that IQ is a mental trait that's legitimately measured that makes you do well in school and maybe do well in business or other jobs. But this ability to produce things that are novel, original, that nobody else is able to think of is just a different trait, and that's what we call creativity.